Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the NHL slate for today, Monday, February 6th, uh, coming off of the All-Star break. And um, we're going to, again, continue to, I don't want to say perfect, but hammer home the process of how to build lineups um, such that you don't have to keep coming back to these preview videos all the time. Um, although I do think that uh, getting the preview of what the slate could look like earlier on in the day, for those of you that have time to stew over it, I guess it does make some sense. So I'm going to be referring to the DraftKings slate here, and I'm going to be talking about my sheets that are available uh, for premium subscribers on TrueDFS.com. We're going to look at some team totals, and we're going to build some lineups both by hand and using Saberson, which is uh, one of my favorite uh, tools to use uh, to build lineups. So let's take a look at what the slate looks like, first of all. So you have six games, no real island games, right? You see a couple of 7 o'clock, 7.30, actually two 7.30s, and they're at 8.30 in the 9. So it's not a lot of late swapping to be done or anything like that. And uh, you don't have the, those late late 10.30 games. So it's a very manageable slate from a, from a you know, staying up perspective. You know, you'll be done with the whole thing by, uh, by midnight. So a uh, pretty nice handy slate here. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at the team totals and see which teams kind of rate to score the most goals to give us an idea of, you know, what teams would probably want to be targeting in fantasy, you know, because although there are some, you know, small distinctions, more goals usually lead to more fantasy points, right? So let's take a look. Um, let's look at Saber Sims uh, team totals first. And I see the Devils with a 4.2 team total and Dallas with a 4.1. And those two kind of dominate the, uh, the board here. So if you were just going to look at Saber Sim, you would conclude that probably you'd be looking to Dallas and, and, and Jersey for fantasy players, you know, presuming that the you know, salaries make it, make it, uh, make it possible. Let's take a look at daily Roto. This is another free place. This is a free site. And you look at the team totals here, and it's uh, it's pretty similar, except it has the Devils with the four, but then it moves Tampa up to four and drops Dallas to three eight, and it moves Minnesota up to three eight. So while Daily Roto would suggest that the the Devils, have, you know, uh, would have a four team total, it's not is not as bullish on um, on uh, who's the other team. On Dallas. Um, nonetheless, uh, these are the teams we probably want to be looking towards um, for for fantasy points. So next thing I want to do is I want to pull up my sheets, which, again, these are available on TrueDFS.com, usually for premium subscribers. And what I've done is I have ranked all of the players based on sheets value score, which is my way of, you know, of rating players kind of a combination of, of projected fantasy points, also as a function of their point per dollar uh, value rating, but giving kind of a bump to the to players that are just generating most fantasy points. Um, you could rate them any way you want, but this is my, this is my favorite way to do so. Um, then there's ownership, projected ownership of these players over here in column H. And then K and L, you have the even strength and power play lines that all these guys are on, or at least project to be on. Because what you want to do is again, you know, if you if you build if you build lineups by yourself by hand, you do want to make sure that you're getting guys on the same same line if you can. Um, if you're doing it using Saber Sim, it's probably going to do it for you, so you don't have to worry about it. But in either case, I do like to have it up here so I can get a sense for what I want to do. So what I'm trying to accomplish here when I do this first look again is just take this quick glance at the board. And just see if there are guys on the same team that rate high, right? Because th that's what you want, right? In hockey, you want guys on the same team that project well. And 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 because the way, I don't know, because the way fantasy scores work, there's quite a bit of correlation. One guy usually passes to somebody else who scores. And you get the assist followed by the goal. So you want to bunch these guys up, stack these guys in your lineup. So the first thing I want to look at is, ooh, just do any like group of guys kind of stand out in the top on the same team? And then what I'll do is look over here on the right and see if they're on the same EV line or power play line. So 
the uh, first thing I will do is I will gaze really quickly. And the first thing I'll see is that you have one, two, three Dallas guys all in the top 10. Okay. You have Pavelski, Robertson, and Hintz all in the top 10. And then you have Henkin in. Uh, he's the fourth Dallas guy. He's in the top 12. Then you have Marchmont, who's in the top 15. So this is a really just kind of a piece of cake slate to at least look at, right? That doesn't mean this is exactly who we're going to play. But this is pretty, uh, you know, this is pretty impactful, you know, to be able to see all these guys that rated in the top 15 all from the same team. And if you look over here, the they're both on the, the top two, same even strength line and power play line. Hints, same thing. Hankinen, same thing, and Marchmont, not. So um, what you're going to want to do, at least on a slate like this, is the first thing you want to try to do is just play all four of these Dallas guys. Right? It makes perfect sense. So Pavelski, Robertson, Hintz, and Mekinen. Um, You don't even have to play the fifth Dallas guy. He's not on the same line. And then you can kind of build by hand pretty easily. And we're going to do that in a second. But let's take a look, see what else kind of stands out. Another thing that stands out kind of right off the bat is that you have a cheap goaltender that rates to be the top goalie. That's something we look for. Um, so you're probably going to want, you, want to use him. This is, again, just your hand-built lineups before we even use Saber Sim at all. Um, then you want to look for kind of cheap one-offs. I don't really see that any. So it's not like you're going to find the cheap one-offs to make them work. Um, so that's the next thing you kind of look for. So now what we do is just kind of just dive right into this and see if we can't build lineups with all these guys. Um, so let's pull up the lineup builder here. I mean, the DraftKings just slate builder, I guess. Let's just put all these dudes in and see what we come up with. So hints, then Pavelski, he's a, he the expensive one. No, no, no. Pavelski, and then there's Robertson's expensive. All right, so let's just let's see. Robertson, and then the defenseman was – who was the defenseman? It was Miro Pinkett. So Miro, we're going to put in here. And then we're going to put that goalie in that we saw, Igor. Um, Igor. And see where we're at. So if you play all four of these guys, you have 4K per man left. Um, and that's not easy, but it's certainly possible. You know, so I think this is kind of a good place to start. You play the four Dallas guys. And then what you can do is 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 what I would do is let's see like what the next best thing is. You know, let, let's see if you can't if you can't find a bunch of them. Let's see if you find a couple. Minnesota's not gonna work, this guy's too expensive. Is there anybody cheap here? Brock Nelson, 5,700, not bad. Van Riemsdyk, 4,400, that's not bad. Well, what you could do is go full on Dallas and play two more of these guys and just hope the whole game is a freaking whitewash. You see Sengun, right? He's only 4,600. And then if you play him with Marchmont, this is going to be kind of fun. Now you get the full – where's where was Marchmont? Wing, and then who's the other guy? Can we just say? Sanguine. So you play all six Dallas guys. You can definitely do this. You're, you are permitted. So you play all six Dallas guys. You hope the whole game is a freaking blowout. And then you just play some two one-offs you know, cheapos in the $4,200 range. And all you do when you want to do that is just pull up the the um, the um sheets and just sort by point per dollar and find your best guys. So that is definitely something you could do. Now, this is like pretty, you know, taking a really big stand here. Um, And you certainly could, you know, play one-offs instead or something like that. But certainly is reasonable. You know, and not that many people play this way. So I think this is a kind of a it's kind of a fun way to play. You just root against everybody until 830. And then you just hope this Dallas game goes goes to town. 
save one just for fun. So we would need a center and a defenseman. It's a good center. You have, <laughs> you can't play another Dallas guy, unfortunately. You could play Barzal, I think. You could play Goudreau, somebody like that. What about defense? Oh, my God. There's another Dallas guy. So you can play Troy Stretcher. He's 2,500. Or Dumba, one of these guys. So these are just guys to kind of, kind of look for. Um, okay. So now, instead, let's try to use uh, Saberson for the lineups. So what I've already done is I've uploaded the projections from 2DFS into uh, Sabersim. You'll see they're a little bit different in the Sabersim uh, projections. And then we'll let's build. How many you want to build? Let's build 150 lineups. And all you do is you put in the same, you put in those projections and just upload them. I would keep the sliders here the same. Just put an entry limit 150 max. Just kind of leave it. Leave everything the same. And let's just blast away and see what kind of exposure we get. Now I imagine that we get a whole bunch of Dallas. Well, let's just see about that. Okay, out of 150 lineups, uh, oh yeah, look at all this Dallas. Ooh -wee. Actually, all five of these guys that I mentioned, just like that. So, and you'll see that one of these lineups is a six man, just, just like I did. It's not actually a little bit different. And it throws in the dumb button. It makes sense. Let's take a look and see how this breaks down. So as far as team stacks go, yeah, you're getting 55% Dallas and then 25% Devils. That was the next team that I was kind of looking at, right? Then if you look at stack types, I don't like all these four twos, though. I want to get more traditional type stacks, you know. Uh, although it is a smaller slate. So a smaller slate, you can be a little more liberal with what you can let in. But I would still, what I would do is I would go into here and just kind of like X out these like two, two, twos, you know, these three zeros or whatever. And then when you're done, you just upload those. I would just limit it to four threes, five twos, five zeros, sixes, Maybe some four twos as well. Saberson really does like to put these four twos in. Still, just not convinced. Um, I, I'll I'll put in some, but I'll probably limit those uh, if I'm getting too much of it. To what's too much? I don't know. Maybe I'll limit it to twenty percent. I think to be four twos. So just as an example. Let's see what we come up with. We just keep doing this. So we'll go. none of these, none of these, none of these. None of these, none of these, none of these. Uh, definitely no three twos. Boy, oh boy, it's just it's kind of hard to get what you want here, right? I'm a little bit of a problem getting it, getting Saberson to put the stacks together that I want. Um, so I'm going to, have to take a look at that. But what you can do is this. So let's do something like 30% five twos. Let's go 30%. Oops. So it's getting mad at me. Um, I think I'm, I'm being too restricted. Um, so what you can do is you could send the exposures and then redo it, or you can just download what you have. Um, so what have we determined? That we look at the sheets, we're seeing Dallas and New Jersey. Actually, we didn't even see New Jersey too much when we looked at the sheets. Um, we saw them when we looked at the team totals. But I think because all those devils, you didn't see too many of them in that top rating, in that top quadrant, it's kind of hard to come up with five zeros and four zeros of, that, of the devils, which is, I guess, why we're getting all these weird stack sizes because they want to give us devils, but can't figure out a way to play them. Um, so that's pretty much the deal. Um, I'll probably be playing a bunch of Dallas. Um, and probably come up with some other stuff. 
But um, I encourage everybody to come at six o'clock where we have, you know, kind of more updated information. And we'll, uh, that's subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll take you right there at six o'clock. Or if you're a premium subscriber, you get there right from the Discord or whatever. That'll do it. Good luck, everybody. Welcome back to the NHL.